So to check, to troubleshoot with a, with a multimeter for, for opens and shorts, well, opens in particular, you just want to use a voltage measurement. Uh, on, so you want to set that multimeter up to measure voltage. Volts. Yeah, DC volts, and we and we have uh, a 12 volt circuit, so you'd want to set it on the voltage just above 12, the closest, which is the 20, which is I think where it's set, because the 20 volts is. Uh, Okay, now this circuit working normally, there's the schematic of the circuit, but the schematic is also laid out on the box. So this circuit working normally has a As a switch that controls a relay and the relay turns on three lights that are connected in parallel so so that's normally the way it works okay I mean that's the way it works normally so if I put a fault in the circuit so let me do it this way So one of the first things to do is, you know, you know, you try to operate the circuit. Well, only one of the lights comes on. So you want to use just some sort of a, some sort of logic to figure out a, about where do you, where do you think the problem is? Could the problem be with this switch? Well, no. The switch is not working because this is coming on. Could the problem be with the relay? No, no. because the relay has to work to turn this light on. Uh, could the problem be in this wire? No. No. Because it's... Right. Could the problem, the problem be in this wire down here? Right. Maybe. Well, no. Probably not, because this, this light isn't coming on. Mm -hmm. If the problem was just in this wire, this is the light that wouldn't come on. But this light would be on. Mm -hmm. So the problem really has to be here in this wire right okay so say so that's where i'm going to go okay so how would you check that with a with a multimeter well what kind of what voltage would you expect from here to here if this wire is open 20 oh sorry uh 1.2 uh, so 1.8 well okay I don't know where you're where, where did you getting 1.8 this is a 12 volt circuit 12 volts yeah. so if well is this wire good between here and here yes yes what voltage would you expect across this wire? It's 1.2. Oh, sorry, 12. 12? Yeah. Try it, because you will get zero. Put the other probe right there. It measures zero. That one measures zero because it's good. This one measures zero because it's good. Measure from here to here. You'll get 12. Because that's the bad wire. Okay. Uh, 
you'll get a 12 volt reading. Okay, let me, let me put a different fault in there. Uh, let me put, uh, Okay, now, oh, that's not what I want to do. That light's dim. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I'm off by one switch. There we go. That's what I wanted. <laughs> okay. Could the problem be this wire? No. This wire? Yes. No. Why yeah, can't it be this wire? Because this one is connected. Because that one is connected. So this wire has to be good. This wire has to be good. This wire. All of these wires have to be good. It has to be something from here to here. Right. Okay. See if you can figure out which one it is. That's it. That's the problem wire. Right. Okay. Let me put in another fault here. Let me go to uh, this one. Okay. Find the problem. This one is working. Right here. It's that wire. Okay. Let me. Do something else. This. Uh, well, let me try this. Okay. Okay, we have a problem here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one. Okay. Connecting to the bulb. This would be, yeah, well, yeah. So here, we're getting voltage to the bulb, but the bulb's not lit. So that would mean... The bulb was not receiving the voltage. So or the bulb was off. The, the bulb is burned out. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, because if you measure from here to here, you're going to measure 12. Mm -hmm. And this bulb is lit. This bulb, you measure 12, and the bulb is not lit, so there's a problem with the bulb. Right. Uh, replace. Yeah. So you replace the bulb, and that should uh, fix the problem. And... Let me do well, let me do this. Okay, now nothing works. Mm -hmm. See if you can find where the problem is. Yeah. Why, why are you, okay. Because we need to use this. Okay, yeah. So the. This is a circuit power breaker. circuit breaker. The power circuit breaker is open. That is correct. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Uh, Oh, which one did I look for that? Okay, there we go. So let me do... Let's try this. Nothing works. Let's see. Great. Walking. So 
The problem will be somewhere. See, what I would suggest is that you just find a circuit rather than jumping back and forth between circuits. Just mm -hmm. go from here to here. Do you see a problem? Mm -hmm. From there to there, do you see a problem? Mm -hmm. From here to here, do you see a problem? Mm -hmm. Yes. The, the relay. The relay is not closing. Right. Yep. Or the 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 re yeah the relay is not closing. That's the problem there. Uh, wire that connects the, the bulb in series. Which which this, wire? Yeah. Yeah. This is whole wire. Well which we wire? Get... From there to there. Yeah. That is a problem. Yep. And so all right, one more so let me do that. See what you can do with that. Mm -hmm. That's why it connects it from ground. Yep. That's basically troubleshooting with a meter. Okay. Set it to voltage, take voltage measurements. Do not try to troubleshoot with current measurements or with resistance measurements. Mm -hmm. Because both current and resistance measurements, if you don't know what you're doing, you can hurt the meter. You can you can break the meter, burn the fuse out. And if you burn a fuse out on a meter on the test, I will not pass you. Okay. Because that means you don't know how to run the meter. Yes, okay. <laughs> Keep it on the voltage. Keep it on voltage. Yeah. Keep it on voltage.